I'm, I'm running behind. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, folks, we're live on, on YouTube, which means that we're taping. Sorry about that. We, we got caught up on talking about food again. <laughs> we're foodies. That's us. That's us. All right. Share on a page we manage. Go to St. Peter's. There we go. Uh, Lori will take first, and uh, Allison will take second. Sure. Okay, Paul's wandering around Miletus, feeling sorry for himself. And uh, <laughs> and um, Laura, oh, it's those it's those eight it's those eighth century prophets with their eruptive poetry. So, enjoy. Those of you who are who are catching up with us on Facebook, one of the things about uh, the the later prophets, the eighth century prophets, Walter Brueggemann has has a has a tendency to find favorite words and really dwell on them. And one of those in a series he taught on the prophets is he refers to the eighth century prophets as having a talent for eruptive poetry. <laughs> so. <laughs> We started Isaiah in the Bible Challenge this morning, so eruptive poetry all day. Oh, lovely joy. All right, folks, um, we are remembering Richard Rode, Marjorie Kemp, and oh, I can't remember his first name, but it starts with a W, and that is, and it's Hilton is the, uh, is the second name. And um, such a blessing to be able to be, to be able to enjoy that with you all. Um, so please do, uh, and, you know, walk along with us. These are 15th century mystics, um, saints who had an incredible gift to offer to uh, sort of the late medieval period. Um, Marjorie Kemp is famous for having written um, one of what may be one of the first autobiographies as we would recognize it in, uh, in, in European history. Uh, Richard Rolla is, is famous for his, his perambulations and his, and his writings. And then uh, finally, um, Hilton um, is also considered a student of Rolla. And these folks really did an amazing job um, of, of both telling the story of the age, but also of sharing um, a way of seeing Christ revealed in, in vision and in practice. Marjorie Kemp is remembered particularly for her accounts of her day-to-day -day life. Um, and the picture I just took off and put up the uh, service plan is actually a, uh, a proto-feminism um, manifesto because it shows a woman sitting at her hearth making supper for her family while at the same time doing the revolutionary act of reading a book. So let's hear it to, for strong women. All right, here we go. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Please join me in unison for the invitatory. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. 
Psalm 89, the first half. Please join in. I will read the odd verses. You guys respond to even. I will sing of your steadfast love, O Lord, forever. With my mouth, I will proclaim your faithfulness to all generations. I declare, I declare that your steadfast, steadfast love is established, established forever. forever. Your faithfulness, your faithfulness is, is as firm as, as the heavens. You said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to my servant David. I will establish your forever. forever. Build your throne, build your throne for, all for all generations. Let the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For whom the skies can be compared to the Lord, who among the heavenly being is like the Lord. A God feared in the council of the holy ones, great and awesome above all that are around him. O Lord God, who is as mighty as you, O Lord, your faithfulness surrounds you. You rule the raging of the sea. When its waves rise, you still them. You crushed like Rahab, Rahab like, like a carcass. carcass. You, scattered your, you enemies scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. arm. The heavens are yours. The earth also is yours. The world and all that is in it, you have founded them. The north and the south, south you created them. them. Tabor and Herman, joyously praise your name. You have a mighty arm, strong as your hand, high is your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. Happy are the people who know the festal shout, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. They exalt your name all day long and extol your righteousness. For you are the glory of their strength. By your favor, our horn is exalted. For a shield belongs to our King, to the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Therefore, I will now allure her, and bring her into the wilderness, and speak tenderly to her. From there, I will give her vineyards, and make the valley of Achor a door of hope. There, shall sh there she shall respond as in the days of her youth, as at the time when she came out of the land of Egypt. On that day, says the Lord, you will call me my husband, and no longer will you call me my Baal. For I will remove the names of the Baals from her mouth, and they shall be mentioned by name no more. I will make for you a covenant on that day with the wild animals, the birds of the air, and the creeping things of the ground. I will abolish the bow, the sword, and war from the land, and I will make you lie down in safety. And I will take for you, I will take you for my wife forever. I will take you for my wife in righteousness and in justice, in steadfast love and in mercy. I will take you for my wife in faithfulness, and you shall know the Lord. On that day. Oh, sorry. On that day, I will answer, says the Lord. I will answer the heavens, and they shall answer the earth. And the earth shall answer the grain, the wine, and the oil, and they shall answer Jezreel. And I will sow him for myself in the land, and I will have pity on Lo Ruhama, and I will say to Lo Ami, you are my people, and he shall say, you are my God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The first song of Isaiah, Canticle 9, our first canticle for the day. Please join in unison. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Miletus, I sent a message to Ephesus, asking the elders of the church to meet him. When they came to him, he said to them, You yourselves know how I lived among you, and the entire time from the first day that I set foot in Asia, serving the Lord with all humility and with tears, enduring the trials that came to me through the plots of the Jews. I did not shrink from doing anything helpful, proclaiming the message to you and teaching you publicly and from house to house, as I testified to both Jews and Greeks about repentance towards God and faith towards our Lord Jesus. And now as a captive to the Spirit, I am on my way to Jerusalem, not knowing what will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit testifies to me in every city that imprisonment and persecutions are waiting for me. But I do not count my life of any value to myself, to, to myself, if only I may finish my course and the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the good news of God's grace. Now I know that none of you among whom I have gone about proclaiming the kingdom will ever see my face again. Therefore, I declare to you this day that I am not responsible for the blood of any of you, for I did not shrink from declaring to you the whole purpose of God. Keep watch over yourselves and over all the flock of which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to shepherd the church of God that he obtained with the blood of his own son. I know that after I have gone, savage wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock. Some even from your own group will come distorting the truth in order to entice disciples to follow them. Therefore be alert, remembering that for three years I did not cease night or day to warn everyone with tears. And now I commend you to God and to the message of his grace, a message that is able to build you up and to give you the inheritance among all who are sanctified. I coveted no one's silver or gold or clothing. You know for yourselves that I worked with my own hands to support myself and my companions. In all this, I have given you an example that by such work, we must support the weak, remembering the words of the Lord Jesus, for he himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down with them all and he prayed. There was much weeping among them all. They embraced Paul and kissed him, grieving especially because of what he had said, that they would not see him again. Then they brought him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, the Song of the Redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join me in the Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you, only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. And truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. 
This is Venus with your Holy Spirit. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the lives and work of Richard Rolle, Walter Hilton, and Marjorie Kemp, hermits and mystics, who passing through the cloud of unknowing beheld your glory. Help us after their examples to see you more clearly and love you more dearly. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please join me in a prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We remember with particular intention today, Liz Cortillo, our former sexton, as she prepares for a new surgery. And we remember the Boza Culpa Weiss families as they mourn Fred's passing and celebrate his life today. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart and especially the hearts of the people of this land that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease. That our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace, for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised to your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And I'm very thankful for the fact that uh, our service ended at the bottom of a page. It doesn't happen often, <laughs> but for those of you who love to color between the lines, it, it doesn't get much better than that, does it? <laughs> God bless everybody. Have a great day. We'll see you at five o'clock for evening prayer. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.